What up, y'all? It's your boy Daniel Poneman here, uh, reporting for IllinoisHSBasketball.com, my first of many blog entries, video blog entries, while I'm at the Nike Peach Jam in North Augusta, South Carolina. Um, as of this time yesterday, I was not planning on coming to this tournament. I was actually planning on going to a tournament in Milwaukee. Um, but because the Peach Jam is the best talent in the nation, hands down, in two gyms in the middle of nowhere, South Carolina, just the perfect event for a guy like me, a basketball nerd, I realized uh, my heart wouldn't let me turn it down. So me, uh, my friend Doug Ferguson, and my guy Ricky Birdsong decided to drive all night, 14 hours, from Chicago to South Carolina to see the four-day Nike Peach Jam. Doug is, Doug say hi to the camera, Doug is one of the top young scouts in the nation. I guess. He writes for NBE Basketball, and he runs Indiana HS Basketball. Um, he's also an NBA draft expert. Ricky Birdsong over here um, is one of my best friends since I, I was a little guy, uh, and he wants to be a college basketball coach when he grows up, so we figured, uh, what a perfect opportunity to network and try and start his quest of becoming a college basketball coach at the highest level at uh, the Nike Peach Jam, where all the top college coaches in the nation will be. Um, anyway, we drove down here all night. It was a long and eventful ride. Uh, a lot of fun stuff happened. Uh, first off, when we're pumping our, I'm pumping my gas uh, to start off the trip, uh, filling up my gas tank, ready to leave Chicago, and uh, my friend Daniel Schwartz rolls up to the gas station and he points out the window at some guy wearing bull shorts and goes, that guy looks like Luol Deng. And just as I was uh, beginning to laugh at him and tell him that it's a little offensive uh, to say some random guy just looks like Luol Deng, the guy stands up and goes, that's my brother. I didn't believe him at first. We talked for a while. It turns out it actually was Luol Deng's brother. He plays ball at Oakton Community College, uh, and he had just crashed Luol's new car and needed a ride to Luol's house in Northbrook. So I hooked him up with a ride, real nice guy, uh, and he gave us his, uh, his uh, blessing on our trip. Uh, next uh, event that happened was when Ricky got pulled over in southern Indiana. Um, we're in the middle of nowhere. Not, not a, we haven't seen a car in like miles. And this cop pulls us over. He walks up to the car. He's giggling at us and he goes, Do you boys know how fast you were going? And Ricky goes, I don't know, 90, 100? The cop goes, No, nah, it was 89. And walks away. Freaking weird. Uh, next eventful thing that happened was in Kentucky. Uh, we're at a McDonald's drive through This crazy lady had to have been on drugs. She walks up to our window, like tweaking out, eyes twitching, you know, flailing around, hands us three drinks. Ricky looks at her and goes, we didn't order this. She goes, oh, I know. She runs inside McDonald's, grabs up sweet and sour sauces, hands those to us, and looks at us like, like we were like her best friends, and we looked at her like she was crazy. Uh, anyway, she ended up giving us four McChickens. We only ordered one, and they all had different toppings on them, so we didn't eat any. Um, anyway, uh, on the trip down, we listened to Project Pat, 3-6 Mafia, Drake, Gucci, Kid Cudi, uh, all the good stuff. We had a great time. It was a long ride, but we're happy to be here. Um, one question I had when I was driving, driving down, why don't we have KFC Buffet in Chicago? They have it in Kentucky, they have it in Indiana. No KFC Buffet in Chicago. We need to get that. Um, anyway, we're here covering mostly the Mac Urban Fire and the Illinois Warriors because they are the two top Illinois teams, or the two only Illinois teams uh, in the tournament, the two top, uh, Illinois, two top Nike teams in Illinois. But we'll also be covering all the top players in the nation, all the future NBA prospects that you want to see. We're getting unique contact, unique content, all kinds of fun interviews with them. You're going to love it. Um, check out my Twitter, twitter.com slash IllinoisHSBball for up-to-date news from the Nike Peach Jam and all the happenings down here. And uh, until next time, I guess that's all I have to say. Uh, Shout-outs to all my people back in Evanston. Peace.